now that the gear is on board, I guess we can head out. How exciting. The three of us setting sail on Mallard Point Lake. First off, it's Mallard Point, not Mallard. Second, you're a Maltese. I thought you didn't like water. I actually like water, unless we're talking about baths. There's nothing more humiliating than being rinsed off in a kitchen sink. It's downright degrading. What do you think you're doing here, Michael Crisp? Oh, hi, Jeanette. Guys, this is Jeanette Del Moro. She's one of my wife's friends. I'm her best friend, thank you. Oh yeah, right. Best friend. I know you're not thinking about getting in that boat. This lake is for Mallard Point residents only, and last I checked, you don't live here. That's true, but Mayor Prather gave us permission. This is the county, not the city, so Mayor Prather can't give you permission to do shit. And what is that thing, a speedboat? Don't you know there's a limit on boat size in this lake? You better get all your asses out of here before I call the HOA. Better let me handle this. Honey, I know you mean well, but... Oh no, you did not just call me honey. Uh, Perhaps I can offer my assistance. My name is Jarvis. Yeah, I know you. You're Ann's dog. And I see that you ain't wearing a leash, which is also a violation of our HOA. Do I have permission to bite her? Please, Jeanette, can you cut us a break? If not for me... For Anne? Hmm. I suppose I can do it as a favor for my bestie, but be careful. Johnny Saunders said he saw a monster in the lake the other day. That's why nobody else is out there right now. A monster? What are you talking about? Some big-ass fish or something. Hell, I don't know. Just be careful. Well, I'll come by tomorrow morning so I can see your house. That way I can get a better idea of what we should list it for. All right, then. Goodbye. David Lewis, just the man I wanted to see. How did things go at Cherry Blossom? Just finished up pouring the concrete for the pool deck and patio. We'll be back tomorrow to get started on the driveway. Fantastic. Thanks for fitting us in on such short notice. I know how busy you are. It's been my busiest year so far. Business is through the roof. So much so that I'm ready to talk to you about buying another home. I'd love to help. What are you looking for exactly? We like our current place, but Kathleen and the kids are wanting a bigger house and a bigger yard. How is Kathleen? She still teaches at Ann Mason Elementary, and she loves it there. Just last month, she got the school to put a wine vending machine in the teacher's lounge. The rest of the faculty loves it. There's talk she might even get Teacher of the Year. A vending machine for wine? Oh, yeah. It's got Merlot, Pinot, Chardonnay, you name it. They're packaged up like little juice boxes. The Moscato is actually really good. You should try it sometime. I just might. When do you think you'll be ready to look at houses? Actually, I've already picked out the house. It's the perfect home for me and my family, and I want you to make it happen. You want to buy Ward Hall? I sure do. It checks all of our boxes and has everything we need. I don't think it's for sale. I'd like to think that everything's for sale, and everything has its price. And now that my company has made me a multimillionaire, I'm finally at the point in my life where I can afford a house like this. Trust me, money is no object. Hi, Anne. How's everything going today? Pretty good. Lori, this is my friend David Lewis. Pleased to meet you. So, Lori, what are you doing out and about here today? The Ward Hall Preservation Committee recently partnered with the Tourism Department to help manage and maintain the property. Oh, that's good to hear. Well, I'm also David's realtor, and he's interested in buying Ward Hall. Buy Ward Hall? That's impossible. Ward Hall is the grandest Greek Revival residence in the state of Kentucky. It's also our county's most iconic property with a rich, storied past that spans nearly 200 years. Selling it is simply out of the question. I'm willing to offer this much. Welcome to your new home, Mr. Lewis. You and your family will love it here. Thank you, Lori. I'm sure we will. Well, I'm glad we were able to work things out. And you're sure the committee won't mind you selling the house? Not at all. They'll be happy to hear that the home will be lived in again. Do you have big plans for the home, Mr. Lewis? I certainly do, Ms. Saunders. I certainly do.
Looking for the best HVAC company in Central Kentucky? Then look no farther than GW Heating and Cooling. Licensed, insured, experienced, and dependable. Give them a call today at 859-233-0161 or visit them online. GW Heating and Cooling, the best in the business. Fat Cats. Every delicious bite of food at Fat Cats Pizzeria is created locally and cooked to order with the freshest ingredients just for you. Go ahead, your taste buds will thank you. Georgetown Guitar Studies. Give yourself or someone else the gift of music this holiday season. And Philanthro Physical Therapy Services. Getting you back to the activities you enjoy without the unnecessary hurdles. Proceeds help fund community health programs. Ah, the great outdoors. Maybe I'll take a dip in the water, or perhaps swim a few laps around the boat. Do you even know how to swim? On second thought, I think I'll just stay in the boat and work on my town. So what exactly are we looking for again? Slim spatula. It's the most important utensil in our city's culinary history. Slim was a cook in Georgetown for over 50 years, and he used the same spatula during that entire time to make his legendary Slim burgers. Bowling pins, spatulas... I still don't understand the fascination with all this junk. And why in hell does Mayor Prather keep sending us on these scavenger hunts? He says that these things are the city's greatest treasures, and that's why we have to bring them back. It just chaps my ass, that's all. If he says they're valuable, we should trust him. Well, let's go ahead and find the damn thing so we can get out of here. That eagle's nest is nearby, and I as sure as hell don't want to tangle with it again. According to my calculations, we're directly above the deepest part of the lake. Statistically speaking, we have the most chance of finding the spatula here. Then the spatula is likely 50 feet below us resting at the bottom of that lake. We just have to find a way to get to it. Well, lucky for you boys, I got everything we need right here. What's that? It's a plumbing snake. I borrowed it off one of my plumber buddies. It's got a miniature camera at the end of it, so when we drop it down in the water, we can see what's down there. So once we find the spatula, how do we bring it up to the surface? I'll attach this hook to the end of the snake, so after we spot it, we can just hook that damn thing and reel it in. That's positively brilliant. You know you're much smarter than you look. If I had a plug nickel for every time somebody said that to me, I'd be a damn millionaire. But don't go throwing me a parade just yet. Let's see if that thing's down there first. Do you see anything? Nothing yet. Hell, I was expecting to see some bluegill. Maybe a couple of trout. Ain't no fish out today for some reason. All this fish talk is making me crave Long John Silvers. Hush, puppy. I suppose I walked right into that one, didn't I? Oh, hell. Something's wrong. What is it? Something's blocking the camera. Beautiful trees, a gorgeous sky, and a nice relaxing lake. We're surrounded by nature, but yet our eyes are fixated on a computer screen. Now I know what it feels like to be a millennial. What the hell was that? I'm sure it was nothing. Nothing? It had an eye. It looked right at me. Boys? You might want to have a look at this. We're going to need a bigger boat. Congratulations, you just bought yourself a house. I'm surprised that the process was so easy. The last time I bought a house, it took several weeks before we could take possession of the property. But you were able to get us to the closing table just a couple hours after I made the offer. I'm impressed. It's too bad your wife couldn't be here for the closing. Kathleen sends her regards. We wanted to get a jump start on moving in today, so she's over at the house right now unpacking. Well, do give her my best. I'd love to stay, but I have to get back to the tourism office. We're having a meeting about next year's kite festival. Oh, really? How's that going? Oh, you know the kite festival. It has its ups and downs. Did you see the size of that thing? It could swallow us all if it wanted to. That must have been what Jeanette was warning us about. That's the monster that Johnny Saunders saw. Well, what kind of foul beast is it? That's the biggest damn catfish I've ever laid eyes upon. A catfish? No wonder I hate it so much. The only thing worse than a cat is a fish that looks like a cat. It's an abomination against nature. Nathan, are you okay? You look kind of shook up. It's that fish, Michael. 
It reminded me of a day I've been trying for years to forget. Your wedding day? No, wait. That's the day your wife's been trying to forget. Cub Scout Camp, Lake Cumberland. I was ten years old, paddling my canoe with a dozen of my fellow scouts on board. A jet ski plowed into us, flipping the canoe, and all thirteen of us went into the water. Didn't see the first catfish for about a half hour. A flathead, about two feet long. Sometimes that catfish looks right at you, right into your eyes. And the thing about a catfish, he's got lifeless eyes, like eyes, like a doll's eyes. When he comes to you, he doesn't even seem to be living. That is, till he bites you, and then those black eyes roll over white, and you hear that terrible high-pitched screaming. The water turns red, and despite all your pounding and your hollering, those catfish come in and rip you to pieces. That was very reassuring. Thank you for sharing. Now, if you don't mind, let's get the hell out of here. Your wife's dog is right. If we stick around here, that thing's bound to kill us all. First off, Jarvis is my dog too. Second, we came here to get that spatula and that's exactly what we're going to do. And you know why we're going to do it? Because we live in Georgetown, the greatest town in the world. And I for one am not going to go back into my town and look our fellow citizens in the eye and tell them that we gave up because we were scared. Oh, I'll tell them if you like. Me too. I don't mind. I'll look them in the damn eye and tell them myself. Hello. Anne? It's David. Hi, David. How's it going? Not so well. The police are here, and I'm being arrested. Arrested? For what? For stealing the statue of Elijah Craig. 